Exercise in the heat. Effect on performance. What effects on performance do you think increasingly hot environmental conditions will have for a marathon runner? Here is a short clip of the Triathlon World Series in Mexico. Now, Johnny has to win and to be sure of taking the title. And right now he seems to have lost control of his legs. And this is worrying. Oh, and he's starting to slow. And there is a little way to go. There's half a K to go. And Johnny is running out of time and is losing. He's losing his sense of direction. This is worrying. Oh, goodness me. This is a horrible sight. Jonathan Brownlee has lost it now and has staggered to a stop at the side of the course. And Alistair's stopped to help him along. And Alistair is going to try and carry his brother home. Dramatic scenes in Cozumel as the Olympic champion carries his younger brother towards the podium. Oh my God, I cannot believe what we are seeing here. Matt, is this allowed? Is he allowed to help his brother? You know, is that part of the rules? I'm not too sure. We've never seen anything like this before. Unbelievable scenes. Unbelievable scenes in Cozumel. The Brownlee brothers arm in arm, but it's not by way of celebration. Henry Schumann's celebrating. He's going to win this race in Cozumel out of nowhere. But we have to, but we have to be concerned about the health of Jonathan Brownlee and they're not even on the final stretch yet. Schumann wins in Cozumel. The brothers are coming home arm in arm to finish in second and third but Johnny can hardly stand and Alistair is having to drag him across the line and pushing him home, pushing him home for second. Johnny finishes in second. Goodness me, what an incredible conclusion here in Cozumel. I've never seen anything like that anywhere in world sports. Worrying scenes all round. Why did this happen? Are there any steps Johnny Brownlee could take to minimise the decrease in his performance? Tell yourself, yeah, as an athlete, you convince yourself that you can, you can do well, you know, you can race in the heat. And obviously, looking back at that, you don't want to go into your next race with those memories. Was it a pacing issue? Uh, yes, it definitely was a, a pacing issue. It was very hot in, in Mexico. It was 35 degrees and the humidity was about 90%. Oh, so that's, that's very, very difficult to, uh, in condition to compete in. And um, I'd done everything I could to get ready uh, to compete in those conditions because Rio we knew was going to be hot. So I'd, uh, we'd done a lot of work in saunas after training to get used to that. We trained in the heat. I was probably the, the best prepared I've ever been for a hot race. Um, and then you know when you compete in the heat, you've only got three, four, five minutes of real hard effort in you before your body temperature gets too high and then you're never going to recover. Um, and I probably started my effort, well, I did start my effort too early, uh, and then my body temperature got too high, and then I tried, I tried to hold it that, that temperature for too long. There are three steps an athlete can take to minimise their decrease in their performance. Using the worksheets and the information provided by the video, can you identify the three steps in their Steps to minimise decreasing performance. Pre-competition. Have a look below and check your answers. During competition. Post-competition. See you next time. Created using Powtoon.